You don't want me to... Dinosaur. Okay, here is this whole, everything above here is gonna be dinosaurs. Over here are our pterosaurs. So they are outside Dinosauria. And here we have, this group is called Ornithodira. Okay, so here you have our Ornithischian dinosaurs. So Ornithischia means bird hip, but ironically birds are not a member of this group. And then here is our Saurischia. In Sauriscans, you have another split into the Sauropoda morphos, pardon my uh, handwriting. So that's your sauropods and prosauropods. So you're like long neck, <laughs> long neck dinosaurs like that. So this node here is Theropoda. Okay, and then in Theropoda, I mean, there's like a huge diversity of, of theropods. So let's just say, let's put it like this, okay? So you have lots of lineages, like your allosauroids and those kind of things. But here, this node, we're gonna call Tyrannoraptora. So you have your Tyrannosauroidea which are your, you know, T-Rex and kin. And then let's just focus in on the clade of dinosaurs that have feathers like we see in living birds. In fact, I'm just gonna kind of get to the punchline here, and this is birds. So you can see that birds are just one clade out of a diversity of theropod dinosaurs that uh, are one of three major clades within the dinosauria. Okay, so let's focus on this part of the tree here, and we're gonna go like that, okay? So, here is the node, Aves. Okay, so, Archaeopteryx here. And seriforms, which are your waterfowl, and galliforms, which are your landfowl, so basically like your ducks and your chickens, right? And then here is neoaves, which is just everything else. And it's just like this huge, huge diversity. Like, think about it, owls, flamingos, all the other, other birds uh, are all part of neoaves. But I think one thing that's important to recognize is that, like, for example, birds are Peneraptorin, uh, Tyranoraptora, Tyranoraptorin, theropod, sauriscian dinosaurs.